Hey guys, this video is going to cover how to read your engine code if your car throws an engine code or an ABS or SRS code. Uh, you'll be able to read it using this very, very cheap piece of equipment right here. It's a bobby pin with both ends removed so that you can bridge a plug and that's all you need for now. Next what you're going to do is come down here. Now this plug I've actually pulled out um, from the ECU I believe. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But if you take a look, try to get in closer here, there's just two holes and you're going to bridge that with your bobby pin. Once you have the bobby pin inserted and bridging that plug in over there, go ahead and put your ignition into, not the first, but the uh, second uh, setting right there so that your radio comes on and AC would come on if you had it turned on. Now if you look up here, you can see that all the lights have turned on. You can see my check engine light is solid right now, which means I'm not actually throwing a code, but you can see my SRS light and ABS are both blinking. Now, the way you read them is similar to what I'm looking at over there on the right, um, but for the check engine light specifically, if you see one long flash, it will be a quantity of 10. If you see a short flash, it is a quantity of one. So for example, if you see a flash with four flashes uh, following it, so it'll be flash, 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 flash. That would be a 14. Now, once you get that information, um, I actually carry a list of all the different engine codes for my specific vehicle. I drive a 1996 Acura Integra or Honda Integra. So, if you look at 14 down over here, it says electronic air control. So then, from then on, I mean, it's it's not as specific as an OBD2 reader, but at least. It lets me know what's going on with my engine and uh, you know if I should pull over and fix it right away or if I'd be okay to finish out my drive. So hopefully that helps. It saved me quite a few times. Uh, if you have a friend that's already bought the OBD2 reader, uh, you know, make good friends with them and borrow it when you can. But uh, this setup definitely works for on-the-fly um, checks for your engine. And uh, yeah, so like I said, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and message me.